Time are ready now for the men's 4 by 400 meter relay. Germany set the world record 1991, but the U.S. won this event at the last Indoor Worlds. And uh, Dion Miner anchored the U.S. to victory at the 97 World Indoor Championships. There's the U.S. team. This is a young team, but they said on the way over on the plane, we're going to get the world record in this race. Great Britain is a threat. They have a great anchor in Jamie Balch, who won the Open 400. The first time a Briton won the 400 in the Olympics or a World Championship since Eric Liddell in 1924. Here's the start list. The Polish team, impressive in the qualifying round, 304.25. As Andre Morris gets set to get the U.S. team underway. The U.S. used 800-meter Cadivas Robinson in the qualifying. Did not have a particularly impressive time. But that was only a qualifier. The men's four by 400 meter relay. The U.S. thinking possible world record. And the American men have an advantage. They grew up with relays. Some of the Europeans don't do that until they get to this high level. But all the Americans did this in high school and college on tighter tracks than this one. And at the break, it's Andre Morris of the U.S. that has the lead. And right behind Andre, some jostling between the Polish and British teams. And that has benefited the U.S. team. Andre Morris getting that break is so important on these indoor tracks, getting that inside spot. But the Polish runner right behind him, they had a great time, as we said, in the preliminary. So they're right on the backs of the U.S. Andre Morris of the United States has given his team the lead. Here's the baton pass to Damian Johnson. And, and Peter Hotchek of Poland just sort of stayed there after he passed off the baton, getting in everyone's way. Well, Hotchek got a shoulder check from Danny McFarlane in the yellow from Jamaica. He really fought to get out as fast as he could. Uh, Damian Johnson from Baltimore, he said that he had had the other guys on the team, the older guys, calm him down in the days leading up to this race, knowing how much pressure was on him and how important this race was for the U.S. team. Poland running right on the back of the U.S. in great position. Jacek Bocian of Poland narrowing the gap on Damian Johnson of the U.S. Well, the U.S. has had a clean race. No one's been able to get in front of them and break stride. The Polish team is trying to do that now. Here's the baton pass. Dion Miner takes it for the U.S., but it is uh, Peter Ryzukovic of Poland that takes the lead. A bad pass. Miner wanted to make sure he got the stick. You know, the thing about this is, unless you win an Olympics or the World Championships, no matter what you do in your life, if you drop the stick 20 years from now, when they're in a bar and your name comes up, it's, remember he dropped the stick? So Dion made sure he got it before he took off, and it cost him a place. Plenty of pressure on Dion Miner. He had a very poor performance in the preliminaries. They were going to replace him with Kevin Little. He said, Coach, I can do it. I can make this team run the world record, put me back on. Rizukovic of Poland in front. Dion Miner of the U.S. is second. Here comes Great Britain taking third with Kadrian Patrick. Here's the anchor leg. Rizukovic and Miner handing off. It's Robert Makowiak of Poland. Milt Campbell runs the anchor for the U.S. Milt Campbell, already a silver medalist in the Open 400 meters here at the World Indoor Championships. He needs to take the measure of Makowiak and determine when to make his move. It'll probably be with less than a half a lap to go. Campbell got the stick even with Balch of Great Britain, but look at how much he's opened up already. Makowiak of Poland with a narrow lead over Milt Campbell of the U.S. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Makowiak of Poland, Campbell of the U.S., stride for stride as they come into the turn. Here's the home straightaway, Makowiak of Poland, Campbell of the U.S., Campbell takes the lead, coming to the finish, Campbell for the U.S., and world record time. What an impressive anchor leg by Milton Campbell. He was mature, he was patient, he watched the Polish runner from the back. They knew how well they ran in the preliminaries. Milton Campbell knew he had everything he could handle and a world record to boot. Campbell was smart. When he didn't have the lead, as would be expected in this case, he didn't panic and try and pass on one of the first two turns. He just hung back there and saved it for the final straightaway. The crucial moment was that final turn as Campbell uh, came off to take the lead and appeared to have Makowiak measured. Campbell did not waste any energy in the race until this moment. Fortunately, Balch was not close enough to be a threat from behind, so Campbell knew the competition was with Poland. And here comes Milt Campbell sprinting to the finish and a new world record for the U.S. team. And a good payday as well, 60000 for the gold plus 50000 bonus for the world record.
Poland also under the old record. And Dwight now back to the mix zone with the winners. Thanks, Tom. Andre Morris, Damian Johnson, Dion Miner, and Milton Campbell, who's now a seasoned veteran of international championship competition, world record. What a great run. You said you were uh, talking about this on the plane. Yes, like, like they said, well, first and foremost, giving unto God. I mean, we all just knew as far as like we had to represent the USA. We have a tradition, and we knew that would be a little edge we had. Because of that tradition, you know, we feel like all the guys would kind of give us a little respect. But Poland came out in the trials, and they were running strong, so I guess they weren't trying to cooperate. <laughs> Speaking of Poland, what a great exchange they had between two and three. How'd you make that up? It was just a matter of just staying within our race. I mean, staying relaxed. We knew each guy, you know, each leg was going to be strong and run strong. So we just knew as far as like they got to lead, just be patient, and just make something happen eventually. All right, world record, gold medal, great way to end it, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, hey,